Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today we're going to be playing one of my favourite games of all time. It's The Darkness. The Darkness everybody, Darkness. Um, I think it came out in about 2007-ish and it, it just has everything that I look for in a game. Awesome story, awesome plot, awesome main character, um, dark tones, it's just, it's something special. Now there is a sequel, The Darkness 2. It was a completely different type of game. It, it missed everything that the original was. So this is the the MVP and we're going to be playing it. And we're going to look out for Jackie. Jackie, what a legend. Right, let's go. Let's start it. Play it on medium because it now is. It is quite a hard game. It's made by Starbreeze Studios, which are the same people that made um, Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, which is also a phenomenal game. I don't know why we haven't had any modern day versions of Starbury Studios games because whatever they make, well, all the main games that I've played from them, everything they've touched is gold. I remember the night of my 21st birthday. That was the first time I died. Guys driving. Die before we get to wherever we're going. Tell them you'll never take us alive. They hate them. We gotta get to the graves and construction site and take care of Polly's contract on the farm. Jackie, don't just sit there staring like a retard. We gotta shake you. Come on, hold up and help me out. This is a New York City Police Department. He just lost his face. <laughs> See ya. He lost his full head. Oh, we're gonna have a go now. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've got a random worker. Oh, 
Oh, we are lighting it up. <laughs> what an opening! Ladies End construction site, happily named. Classic mob venture filled with blue-collar construction workers, armed to the teeth. And my boss, Uncle Polly, sent me here to whack the foreman. Like I said, classic. I'm also dying over here. Okay, when you see the message new objective or objective updated, your journal has been updated. Press the select button to open up the journal and read your current objective descriptions. You can also read tutorial information here when you receive new tutorial messages. That noise there, that new objective noise, just brought back memories. All right, mate. Oh, his shins hanging out. <laughs> mate, that doesn't look good. I wouldn't want to do that again. Oh, man, would you look at that? These pants cost me 400 bucks over at Sal's. Now they got blood stains all over them. Make your legs hanging out. <laughs> Some fucking twenty first birthday for you, huh? Here. Got your present. Oh, some guns. Thanks, man. Nice. Add a boy, Jackie. You look after those pieces and use them well. You know, this looks real bad. Real bad. Now go find out what's going on. And get the hell out of here. Mikey, who's this Sullivan guy? And what did he do to Paulie? Who gives a shit? He probably looked at him the wrong way. There ain't no free passes for Paulie. No matter what he did. Let's remember that. Where do I find Sullivan? He should be in his office. At the far end of the site. You be careful though. His boys sure as hell know we're coming. How many guys he got on the site? 20, 30 tops. Some real hard asses from, from the Emerald Isle. Hey, fuck it. Let's just go home, and we're gonna tell Polly we blew it. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's like asking a goddamn shark to share its dinner. We finish the hit. We just might make it out alive. Uh, okay, Jack. If we are right now, let's go make the hit. Oh, he's he's not making anything except the gates to hell. He ain't gonna make it. Right, come on then, baby. Oh, I see. Watch this. Yes. Yeah. So, the, I remember the the combat and everything is just like collectible one. Where? Oh, here. Yeah, it's just like the combat from um, Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, which, uh, which I do like. It's got like a, you can aim, 
when we aim like that, and um, which is click the right stick in, which is a bit weird for a first person shot, but it's it is a first person shot, but it's not what we know it from these days. Um, you do have like an auto aim, the red dots just go to people while you point in the, the general direction, but it's it's more than that, you'll see. It, it, it's a great game. Jackie. Jackie. Also, Starbreeze Studios, they did. They always made a massive deal about shadows. Like, look how the shadows are long shadows. This is back in the day. The right, the, it, it correctly reflects it from the light source. Amazing. Right, let's go. Shit, I've got no bullets. Oh my god, I got no bullets. How do we reload? Oh, we don't have. We don't actually have any bullets. I found some. Oh damn! Yeah, that's what you do. I've remembered. You don't actually have your own guns in this. You just pick them off dead bodies. It kind of reminds me of John Wick a bit. You know what I mean? Like you just use what's in the levels. There we go. We just found some stuff. It all looks like it's reload, or you use like a next full magazine gun. That's jump square. I don't know what square is. X is like interact. Well, left clicks crouch, right clicks aim. All right, then come on, baby. Oh my god, I made him do a front flip. One clean shot and he's dead. Where is he? Headshot. Oh, here we go. Let's run, 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 run. Oh, I see you. I see you. Shit, I missed him. Oh, shit. Who should us? Dickhead blood. Oh, the game is so good. Hey. Actually, there's one thing I do want to or, or, or want to put on. I want to check the um, subtitles. On, on, on. Battle on or off? I think we'll leave that. It's your uncle Paul. See, that's not on. Subtitles, battle on. You know you've been a pain in my ass since the day I met you, Jackie. Pissing and moaning about the way I do business. Well, you need to learn who's calling the shots in this family. 
I've been very, very generous to you, Jackie. In fact, I got a surprise for you. On your birthday. It's in the closet. Have a blast. Oh, bullshit. Happy birthday, Jack. See ya. Run! Run! Me and Paulie never did agree about the way things were being done. Paulie took the business into selling drugs, working side by side with the cops. When I was growing up, the family had codes. We did business. We looked out for the people. I believe we ought to honor those codes. Now, Paulie, he's just a parasite. Wants to bleed me dry. I saw him. He came out he survived. The Down there. He's going towards the cemetery. Tell the boys to drive around the block. We'll squeeze him in there. Right, so I'm not sure. I can't remember how you get your health back. I think it might just... I think I, oh, sorry, at the start of the game, let I me rephrase. I, lost him too. I don't know how you get your health back at the start of the game. Look, there's something in there. Darkness. Yeah, how do you think we get in there? Not sure. But I know it's kind of a semi-open world, so we might be able to come back here later. Anyone? Stay okay. Oh shit! Right when you get their guns. Oh my god! Taste the rainbow. Oh my god! Headshot. Someone's destroying me. I've actually got no bullets. <laughs> bullets, bullets, bullets. Is that it? Easy now. Yeah, okay, so we heal over time very slowly. Alright mate, it's a nice teddy bear you've drawn on the hey, wall. don't shoot me son. Frank Rottenberg's the name. I live here. It smells like Satan's bunghole. <laughs> but it beats freezing to death. Bro. A nice home. Yeah, nice place. Angel statue and everything. Yeah? What the hell are you talking about? You're in a piss parlor, kid. Unless you mean the Trinity Cemetery outside. Is there a way out of this fucking cemetery? There's a gate at the north end. Yeah, you got luck on it though. Keeps out the undesirable element. Right. We seen that. Nice bear. Oh, yeah, they're shooting through the windows. Come here. Through you, I am born. Oh, 
Yes! Feel my power! How awesome is that? Press L1 to manifest the darkness. Destroy the lights to create shadows from which you can drain darkness energy. Yeah, so how it works is now we can we can oh we can devour hearts. And I'm pretty sure you devour hearts to level up. I think. We should do it whenever you have the chance. Now, we're there. Yeah, so if, if if you're hiding in the dark and you've got the darkness out, you, you regenerate health really, really quickly. But if you're in the light, it drains your health. But if, you, if you're like a normal human, you, you don't. You can just walk about as normal. Give me the heart. Can I have that heart? You wish. L1 and square. Follow me to freedom. Let me be in for himself. <laughs> this little guy. Go on, son. He's, he's, he's kind of cute. Oh, see ya. To redirect Darklands. Where is it? Now wait there. There we go, we're at full health. So where's the Darkling? Alright, shithead. Where'd you go? Oh yes. Watch this. <laughs> Come to oh, destroy the fan. Come to Papa. This is just phenomenal. It's such a lad, it's such a good game. I can't even express like how good it is. All the mechanics and everything work perfectly. Especially the little puzzles you do. Canal Street. I've heard people complain that life is unpredictable. It is. Well, I never had a life that was predictable. But what happened to me today? That's why I need you, Jenny. You're the only one I can count on. Running late? Call me ASAP, Jenny. When you get a message on your page, you can read it both on paper and in your journal. Use a telephone to call the person paging you. Okay, so there we, we've got her telephone number. Nice. Canal Street Station. Yeah, because a lot of this game takes place in the... Well, not a lot of the game takes place in the subways, but they're so, like, accurately created, it's believable. 
All right, mate. Please cross a palm with gold. Right. Extra content unlocked. Okay. Right, we'll dial Jenny's. Jenny! Hi, this is Jenny. Jenny. It's me, Jackie. Hi, baby. Happy birthday. I just got into my new place. I thought you were going to help me unpack. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Things got kind of screwed up at work. I have a surprise for you. I can't talk right now, but I'll be there soon. I promise. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Look, just remind me again how to get to your new place. It's on Orchid Street here in Chinatown. It's just next to the basketball court. It's apartment number 11. Oh, but you'll have to go around the back through Mulberry Alley. They're doing repairs or something on the front door. Are you on your way now? I'll be over as soon as I can. Now do me a favor. Just don't open the door till you know it's me. I'm a big girl, mystery man. I can take care of myself. I'll see you when you get here. Hey, humor me just this once. Okay? Now I gotta run. Bye. Yeah, hey, um, they're probably going to be coming after her, aren't they, if they know I'm alive, but I've just seen a collectible here. 34, we'll do them later. I think you can't, I think they all have numbers on them, you can, yeah, you can, but we'll, we'll do it all in a one on once we've collected a good batch of them. I just want to get stuck into the game. I don't think you can run, I think this is as oh, fast Jackie, as you can move. It's me, Enzo, Why out? I Enzo. hear you pissed off your Uncle Paulie, put his boys out to look for you. You knock bones with one of his girls or something? Why don't you ask him? Uh-uh. I steer clear of that little rat like he had the bubonic plague. What the hell did you do? Uh, money was involved. I was unconscious at the time. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? Hey, I was wondering, are you still seeing that girl Jenny? Because I was thinking, you know, if you ain't... Hey! Hey! I'm still seeing her. Matter of fact, she just pays me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, there's a phone down the platform you can call her from, you know? Hey, you say hi for me, okay? I've already done it. What a creeper. Right, so... Canal Street Station. Do we go down that way? Lower East Side? Right, wait there, we're gonna have to check them. Map. So we went... Trinity Cemetery, we're on Canal Street. Not entirely sure where we're going, to be honest. Lower East Side and Trinity Cemetery. Where does this one take us? Chinatown. Oh, here we go, we found it. Not yet, I know. This guy asked about a problem or a weirdo. Just check them back here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything you can collect other than collectibles, which I do like. I think the collectibles in this game are done right because I'm not really a fan of collecting loads of random stuff. Ain't fair, man. That asshole won't let me play my harmonica at my spot unless I give him a couple hundred bucks. Who? Who won't let you play? Big guy, he's always hanging here, goes by the name of Compton Scar. If I could fight like I play, I'd tear him a couple of new holes just for kicks. 
You just gotta know how to persuade a guy. Wait here. Oh, was that the guy down here? Not a problem, tough guy. It is. Look at the state of this guy. Proper mouth breather. Yeah. My problem is I'm a big music lover. And I don't got no music to listen to. Now my buddy with the harmonica? He's an honest to God virtuoso. So my suggestion is that you leave him alone and let him do his thing. And if I don't? Well, if you don't, I got a magic trick for you. <laughs> I see you around here again, dipshit. I'll put my arm down your throat and pull a rabbit out your fucking ass. Just relax, all right? You can play down here if he wants. Bada boom, bada bing. This is how we do it. Thanks, son. I never would say this to no one, but you got a good heart. I've got a good heart. Like side quests like that make the world believable, you know what I mean? It just this happened organically. Breaking news special report. I'm Jane Unger, bringing you continued coverage on the latest on the Crane and Eckstein bombing. Police officials have dismissed the bombing as a random incident. Captain Edward Schrode was unavailable for comment. With us now over the phone is Lieutenant Gomer. Welcome, Lieutenant. Appreciate you joining us this evening. Thank you. Could you give us an update on the current investigation? Hey, Jackie, it's me. Nicky Marucci, uh, wait up. Good to see you, Jackie. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. So what's the news with Polly? And how's the wife? Yeah, so-so, Jackie. But it ain't the wife I'm worried about. It's Polly. That little Doberman don't see anything but money. Words out, Jackie. He's paying a lot of cash to the guys who bring you down. Some of the younger boys? He gets scared to take a dump without his permission. Spineless little turds. I wouldn't come around here for a while if I was you. We'll see about that. Polly put a hit on me. Already. Yeah, already. You just be careful around here, son. And, and try not to whack anyone. Old Butch has got his hands full cleaning up the last mess. Some asshole hit the head chef at the Olive Grove by mistake. It's a fucking bloodbath in there. You remember Jenny, right? She moved to a new place around here. It's supposed to be by some ball court. You know where it is? The basketball court, sure. First street to the left, and then second to the right. But in case you didn't hear me the first time, all he's got a hit out on <laughs> Yeah, so I heard. be careful. First street on the left, Thanks for second the advice, on the right. Mr. Perucci. But I can take care of myself. Right, so this this is Chinatown, isn't it? It is okay. First street on the left, Ever been second on the right. With somebody who is so beautiful and pure, you couldn't bear to show them your own darkness. That's how I feel about you. We grew up together in St. Mary's orphanage. I guess I'm gonna have to tell the truth about what kind of scumbag I really am. But what the hell am I gonna say? Right, so are these guys bad guys? I got him. Potato sack outfit. Right, okay. First street on the left. That would have been this street. We'll just avoid them for now. We don't really want to draw attention to ourselves. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, he wasn't dead. Wait, hold on. He wasn't dead, that's why we couldn't eat the heart. <laughs> Actually, let's raise hell. You wanna kill me? This is class. Oh, they're fighting over it. Not today, son. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be down here. Now what we should, we should shoot the lights out if you want more dots. Headshot! There we go. A new darkness level. Because you unlock new powers and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's, it's currency. Like the more hearts you get, the more currency to spend. I don't actually know how you do that. Darkness level. Berserker, creeping dark. Darkness, I don't... When in darkness mode, darkness shield will protect you. Right? Devour. When standing in the shadows, you will automatically drain darkness. Toggle darkness mode by pressing L. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we haven't really unlocked anything yet. Don't think. We're looking for the basketball court holder. Map. Ah, wait there, because it's not in Chinatown, is it? I'm not sure. Mulberry Alley. You had to get there via Mulberry, she said, didn't she? Where? Oh, there she is. Yes! Spidey senses were tingling there. Apartment 11. She was higher than this, wasn't she? Twelve? Eleven. Hey, baby. It's a nice place. Surprise! Kate. Oh, she has a birthday cake. <laughs> you won't believe this. Look, John Carlos spelled your name wrong again. <laughs> well, Jenny Romano. You blow out the candles. Come on, then I'll blow them out. Happy birthday, rat face. You're finally legal. Yeah, I am. I'm I know fully you legal. I piss and moan about your birthday, but I couldn't resist. I mean, you're only 21 once, right? That's right. Are you okay, babe? You're being kind of quiet. I'm young, dumb, dumb and full of cum. Let's do it.
Hello? Jackie? I'm gonna tell the truth, why not? I got a real problem, Jenny. Something happened today with my Uncle Polly. And it's a real bad situation. Polly? What kind of situation? Okay. See, here's the thing. I was supposed to collect some money from my Uncle Polly downtown. Only the money wasn't there. And now Uncle Polly's kind of pissed at me. I'm sure it's going to be okay. No, but you need to protect yourself. It's been years since he took you home from the orphanage. Your Uncle Polly likes you, doesn't he? Jenny. Baby, you don't get it. Uncle Polly isn't a teddy bear. He's a fucking psychopath. And he's gonna kill me. Kill you? What are you talking about? What exactly do you do for your Uncle Polly anyway? <sighs> um. I'm a contract killer. I, uh, kill people for the Franchetti crime family. I meant to tell you. <laughs> I just didn't know how, baby. What? Are you nuts? You are nuts. This is just like you, Jackie. There's something else wrong and you're hiding it with some kind of weird-ass story you just made up. Hey, come on. Will you hear about the it's demon? It's birthday, and I've got a new apartment. Let's take one day off from fucked up. <laughs> yeah, Will, she hears all this demon that's just possessed us. He wanted you to call him when you could. I wrote the number on the notepad by the phone. Butcher. Billy Butcher. See reeks of innocence. Come on, sit here for a while, Jackie. Watch some TV with me. Jackie, what is it? I'm trying to sit down. Jenny? Yeah? Nothing. Oh, he couldn't. He couldn't do it. He couldn't tell I loved her. Okay. I'm pretty sure. You want the remote, don't you, mister? Yeah, give uh, me the remote. No, my apartment, my TV, my remote. Give me the remote. <laughs> give it to me. Yeah, I remember this. She like cuddles into you. Spend some chill time with a Are with a girlfriend. Cold, God, it's freezing in here. I don't know if she falls as oh there. If only you knew. Yeah, what would you do? To be honest, if I, if I thought like someone was out to kill me, I definitely would tell my lass. Um, but I'd make sure like this guy didn't do a very good job of it. I'd just be like, yeah, I'm not bullshitting you. Um, you need to protect yourself. Like I think playing it off to someone that you love so much is just going to get them hurt.
listen, Butch. Things are happening. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by a very nasty scumbag whose name rhymes with Paulie Franchetti. <laughs> okay, now I want you to notice. I do this only for you because of who your father was and because you've always shown respect to your family. Now listen, you go through Doyer's Alley across from Jenny's apartment. I got my car parked there. You make sure no one sees you. I'll leave the back door entrance to the kitchen open. You got that? I'm pretty sure I've seen the Olive Garden. It's the it's one of the alleys I was about to go down, but I didn't go down it. What's going on? What? The hell? It's me, baby. Right, let's go. You want to lock this door? I wonder what's upstairs. Can we get to the roof? No, we can't. That's a shame. Right, come on then. If we, we get the Olive Garden, which I'm pretty sure I know where it is, but we're not going there, are we? We're going to, the, to meet the guy in the car. Try and be unseen. That's not going to happen. And the darkness. I missed what he said there. I wish I'd never... I saved you from that orphanage. Well, you didn't. You lied. Get wrecked. Is that it? You okay? Are you friendly? Unfortunately, you're gonna have to witness something really sick. <laughs> I did not call that. Their soul is mine. Ooh. We're there. I'm pretty sure we just go around here and down. Say yeah, bitch. Missed every shot. Tasty. This is it. Green olive gold. But he didn't want to see us here though, did he? I mean, technically, we didn't get seen if the person that saw us died. You know what I mean? Get over. If there's one untouchable in this business, it's Butcher Joyce. You put out a hit on some guy, Butcher flushes his body. No one's ever the wiser. Butcher knows everyone's business. But what keeps him alive is that he never, ever chooses a side. Yeah. Too bad there's a war coming. Whoa. I heard you coming from a block away, Jackie. Was it 
expensive Italian shoes make you sound like a fucking bull elephant. Like the new generation. Every cop for a half a mile around probably knows you're here. Fucking cops, all I need now, huh? Jackie, move out from underfoot, will you? <laughs> this guy's Grab a beast. That body, would you? Funny enough, this guy actually looks like a, like one of my best friends from when I was um, younger. Fortunately, you um, we'll make your hits at a reasonable time of the day, huh? Dead now. You know, they told me there was only one body to dispose of. Was to be one of those um, dealers from the alley. So what happens? Instead, some moron puts a bullet right between. Helmets, eyes, oh. Oh, what are you gonna do? Just drop it in the trunk. I'll take care of it. Yeah, it's so weird. It's uncanny. Like he really does look like me, mate. Weird. Yeah, drop it in the trunk. Paulie thinks I'm gunning for his throne. Someone cold cocks me on a takedown at Dino's. Next thing I know, I got the 5th Italian Cavalry riding my ass. You know me, Jackie. I never choose sides. Whatever the problem is, it's, uh, it's up to you and Paulie to solve it. Uh, uh, if this gets out of hand, the Chicago families will intervene. When that happens, ooh, buddy wins. You beat Paulie's guys, and he's not a good loser. Now, I wouldn't put it past him to throw Eddie Schrode on your ass. Cops. Fucking cops. Ugh. Hold on a second. Why would the Chicago families give a fuck? They care about two things. Respect and money. Not necessarily in that order. Make the money, you earn their respect. You rock the boat, they throw you in the ocean. Hmm? Now you listen to me, Jackie. Your only option is to take down Paulie before he takes you down. Put a big enough dent in his business, the Chicago people will see to it he has an accident. I would never be one to suggest how you do this. <laughs> if you ask me, you need to pay a visit to Dutch Oven Harry. Dutch Oven Harry. Put some holes in them. Hmm? Dutch Oven Harry. No, never heard of him. What a name. Who's Dutch Oven Harry? I'll tell you. Harry is Paulie's biggest dealer of illicit medicine. He works out of a building in Hunter's Point. Now, if I were the kind of man to be involved in things like this, I'd take down Harry. I'd pull all of his merchandise out of the building. But I'm not, see? You don't want to come walking up to their front door. So go through that rundown billiards club at Whitefish Alley. There's a back door leading to Hunter's Point from there. Hmm? <laughs> ah, fuck. Cops. This is why I don't get involved. Get back inside. Are you going to escape this? I'll lock the door. Hurry! Cheers, bro. Jackie Estacado. This is Captain Edward Schroep, New York Police Department. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up and nobody gets her. Well, nobody anybody gives a shit about. He ain't coming out, Cap. We're going 
gonna call it resisting arrest. We need to make this door. Oh, no way. We've got a shotgun now, baby. Where is it? Oh, we are unstoppable. Give me this. Oh my god, the berserk has gone wild. Yeah, we need to get rid of this. Too light. Yeah, this this I don't know how to switch weapons, that's the problem. I need the pistols back for the accuracy. I suppose we can go through here. Maybe not. Yes, come close. But let's get rid of this, because uh, I don't know how to wear um, which weapon. Oh, weird there. D-pad, D-pad switch weapons. Come on, baby. Shall I have many bullets? Is that the helicopter shooting at us? Go on, baby. Get him. Can't go in there, nightmare. We've got three bullets, that's all we've got. Come on, let's go, 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 go. I don't know if this is a good idea going on the roof with a bloody helicopter. Nice, we got some bullets, bullets. Oh, 
Amazing. Oh, I forgot you've got that, lads. You've got a um, execution kills if you just run up to them and fire. Okay, now that's good. Pier 19, that's not where we want to be. Hold on, what's the goal here? Just escape. Tell you what, maybe we should go on the subway. I think we have escaped the helicopter though. There's a subway. Blocked. Maybe it was Pier 19. We found some secrets. Yeah, maybe it was Pier 19. Right, we'll go back. We've killed everything on the way there anyway, so. Yeah, okay. I think I think we do have to go this way. Pia nineteen. come to these piers pretty often. Most of the time it was to fit some poor asshole with a pair of concrete boots. <laughs> People don't swim so good wearing boots. I've heard that. What was that? Oh my god, executed. Watch this. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Shoot him in the dick, and then execution! Oh, they killed somebody here. Bang and tunes. The warehouse. Ah, oh, so that, that's exactly where the butcher told us to go. We've got to destroy everything here so that the 
The bigger mob bosses come and destroy Paulie. Right, we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll call it an episode here. When we come back, we'll destroy this warehouse and everything in it. I hope you've enjoyed the opening of the darkness, lads. The game's phenomenal. Atmosphere is amazing. I love the dialogue from the main character, Jackie. And um, the darkness in Sidious Parasite is also phenomenal. See you in the next one, lads.